Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and uh, GDC just ended. At it, something called Fab by Epic Games was announced. This is a new online marketplace, game engine agnostic, that's going to bring a number of uh, the Unreal Engine assets together. So we've got uh, ArtStation, SketchFab, the Unreal Marketplace, Quixel Mega Scan stuff, all kinds of things are being put together in a universal game engine agnostic art store. This is going to be a huge deal. Uh, great place to buy assets regardless to what game engines you work with. Some people said that I was clickbaiting on this, but no, I honestly think this was the biggest announcement at GDC. Now, the problem is, Fab isn't even close to being ready. This was actually only available in, like, alpha slash beta form in the uh, Unreal for Fortnite launch, which I'm going to look at shortly, by the way. So, we have, in the meantime, the Epic Marketplace. Now, I, I like the Epic Marketplace for the content, especially for the free stuff that I cover every month. Also, we have uh, all of their free for the month stuff, the permanently free collection, the marketplace collection, etc. There's a lot of things to like about the Epic Marketplace. The only thing that sucks about the Epic Marketplace is, well, <laughs> the Epic Marketplace. Trying to search and navigate your way around this, it's never that fun. It's generally a little sluggish. The user interface sucks, and that's where the topic of today's video kicks in, and that is Orbital Market. If you've never heard of Orbital Market before, this is like some guy's GitHub project, completely free. Uh, uh, I don't know that there's any reason for Hugo here to actually run this uh, other than altruism. So Hugo, thank you for putting this together because it is pretty sweet. So this is like an alternative interface to the marketplace. You can't buy anything here. It's not hosting anything here. This is built over top of the Epic Games uh content in general, but let's go ahead and what we can do is show you what kind of stuff it can do. So if you're right here immediately, you can search things by popularity. Then you can easily filter down. So for example, if I want just the most popular free stuff, I can do it that way. Then I can also say, okay, I only want the most popular free stuff for Unreal Engine 5.1. And now I can say I only want the free stuff for the last three months for Unreal Engine 5.1. Uh, you've got a couple of different views of it. So we've got like this more wide view here and we have this kind of cascaded view available right here. So that is in itself quite nice. Obviously, there is a search engine here as well. So if I needed a jet, I come in here, search for jet. I can um, turn all of my filters off if I wish. So like all versions of the engine and all time. And you're noticing I don't need to resubmit. It automatically goes. And so we can come here and see assets. Now, the cool thing here, and this is one of those things you don't get on the Unreal Engine Marketplace, is you can actually drill into an asset and you can find the price history of it. So here we are inside of an individual asset. Now, the way this actually works is if you've got Unreal Engine um, Marketplace, you can have it open up the other browser for you, or you can come over here and have it actually open up an Epic Launcher. So if you already owned it or you wanted to buy it or whatever, you could do it that way as well. Uh, the cool thing here is you can also come in here and see the price history. Oops, I closed that down. I did not mean to. Let's open that guy back up. So again, come here, price history. So the price history is available for all of these things. It shows you when it went on sale, what previous price it was, etc. Very nice stuff. Now, another cool thing that you could do here, and this is quite useful for me in case I missed something, uh, you can come up here. I'm going to clear out that guy and I go here for free. So let's do free by popularity and search. So not just for jets. And then what I'm going to notice is here, you got the Quixel Mega Scan stuff, for example, or the uh, Epic Games stuff. So here, Epic Games. This is all of the Epic Games stuff that is currently free. Uh, and it's just a very handy way to actually just drill in and see the stuff from an individual person. So that way, you know, you never actually missed anything. Also, it's, it's an infinite scroll. So if you're looking for the free stuff, this is a much better way to discover the, the extent of the free things on Unreal Engine. And of course, you don't need to filter it down to an individual person. So I could just literally go here. Let's look at the most popular free stuff that exists on the store. So you never probably were aware of just how much free stuff is available. Uh, and you could just you know, drill down this way and get a hold of all of it. And then again, once you've seen an asset that you want, literally, so here's Kenny, for example, I can click here, we can have it open up in the Unreal Engine Marketplace like so, or we can have it open up the Epic Launcher and it will run it and find it that way. I'm not going to let it go ahead and do that. Uh, but that is how the integration works. So this is really just a searching, sorting, usability um, layer on top of the Epic Game Store, but it's just, it works so much better than the actual Epic Game Store itself. So it's one of those things, if you are uh, an Unreal Engine user, you're really going to want to check this one out because it gives you the ability to come in and see um, 
you know, a, a much better view of what is on the store, and especially for the free stuff that you were looking for. Of course, we also got the ability to see what are the currently on sale assets available right there. So obviously you don't want to do free. So all discount. So you can see all of the things that are currently discounted and or 100% uh, off at this point, which weirdly enough is different than free. Uh, you also have the ability to drill in here for categories and break it down that way. So if you just care about, for example, blueprints, you can look at it in that regard as well. Uh, and yeah, that's kind of the idea behind it. Frankly, this is just strictly better than the Epic Marketplace as a user experience uh, by quite a bit, in my opinion. But I'm curious what you ultimately think of it yourself. By the way, uh, this is on a GitHub project, so it's entirely open source. The fellow that maintains this, uh, Hugo Attal, uh, this is his work now. It hasn't been updated since January 20th, and Unreal Engine 5.2 was just released. I don't know if there's any 5.2 only assets, but I'd be interested to see how quickly he gets that new update out. Uh, but yeah, this is a uh, view-based slash TypeScript-based project. If you're interested in looking at how it was actually implemented, uh, it is entirely open source. So if you want to fork it, spin it off, make your own thing or whatever, um, you can do so as well. Uh, but definitely uh, an interesting project to check out. And, and it's useful in a couple of levels, again, because you've got the ability to drill down again and see the price history of objects. That isn't something that's normally uh, really easily viewed. And again, it's just the best way, in my opinion, to find free stuff. And also, uh, you're ranging the tools for price range stuff much cleaner, much faster, much more performant than what you find on the uh, Epic Marketplace right now. I would honestly say, and I, I'm curious what you think here, I think this is 100% an upgrade over the user interface for the Epic Marketplace. I just think it works better, uh, but I'd be curious what you think of that yourself. By the way, if you want to go ahead and check this one out, uh, it is available at orbital-market.com. Uh, yeah. And if you're interested, he does have a sponsor opportunity here. So if you like his project, uh, maybe toss him a couple bucks. So that is the Orbital Marketplace. Now, it, it, this is ultimately not going to last too, too much longer because we do have core coming. And hopefully the core user experience is more like this and less like the Epic Marketplace. Although I think a lot of it's actually being built on the uh, Quixel Bridge uh, application kind of way of doing things. So I, I think it'll be a little bit less web-based and a little bit more application-based. But I will be interested to see how that works out. So let me know what you think, Orbital Market, and I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.